Mackenzie Solo is entitled, I just want to sit on the couch and eat chips. She's lazy. Mackenzie, technically, should dance like an 11 year old. It's the legs not being straight, the feet not being stretched, the arms not being properly placed. So this routine is going to push that kid to the next level. It's going to make her a stronger dancer. So get here and flex your feet up in the air. Go ahead. I keep almost getting kicked. Why am I almost getting kicked? If your legs are there and they're going that way, why is your alignment so bad that you're like coming back to me? That's what you're screwing up every time. Come on. If this was your sister, we would be halfway finished with the number. Well, she's not. Her name's Mackenzie and she's not my name. So whatever. And what's the name of your dance? It is called I, I just want to stay at home and eat chips. No. She can't even remember the name of the dance. I just want to sit on the couch and eat chips. Hence, the couch. Is this not a couch? Could be a sofa. Could be a love seat. I just thought it would be like my interview. No. I thought it was I just want to stay home and eat chips. I don't want to go on Broadway. All I want to do is just stay home and eat chips. No. So the little smart ass is trying to tell me that that's not the quote that she said that we're wrong. I'm not gonna have Abby be mean to my daughter anymore. I can't do it. Abby's not perfect. That's for sure. Abby, why'd you call Mackenzie a smart ass? Why? Because she just she's said... trying to contradict me. No, she about... said I thought it was I wanted to stay at home and eat chips because that's what I thought it was too. You don't have to call her smart ass. Well, but you didn't hear the way she said it. Okay, but I don't think you should call her smart ass. I'll never call her anything again. She said other kids would just remember it Kenzie. in two minutes. Kenzie. And she's like, OK, well, we have Kenzie. 20 Kenzie. seconds Kenzie. done. Kenzie. Just calm down. Kenzie, you know how this goes. She's just being mean and rude, but I she always is. I just do it. Abby needs to take something out on someone, and she's taking it out on us. But just leave my daughter alone. She doesn't want to mess with me right now. I know way too much. I know so much stuff. I hope she knows that. Get on the tumble track. And I don't want any attitude, whether you think you're giving me attitude or not, you were. And I'm not going to put up with that. And if you cry, you don't need to be here. You need to be in the mini group, because that's what minis do. Abby's being tough on Mackenzie about straightening her legs. But we all know that she's taking out her legal problems on Mackenzie right now. And it hurts because I've always been so loyal to her. I've helped her so much through the years. You, you have no idea. I know that I'm a good friend and I'm a good person. I can put my head down in a pillow at night and sleep pretty good. One, two, three, no. Mackenzie, you're a disappointment. What are you doing? Why don't you know that? I bet Melissa is flipping out. She has supported Abby through all of her legal woes. I think she feels a little betrayed and is really, really angry at Abby. OK, do it the normal way. See how crooked she goes? Fix, fix it. it. <laughs> I don't know how to she, fix it. She, in the other room, she is having fell. a blast. Stop making excuses for her, because you would have never made an excuse for Maddie. I'm not making excuses for yes, her. Yes, you do. Everything I've said, you have made an excuse about. Welcome to our world, Melissa. This is the behavior that our girls are experiencing on a regular basis. I don't, I just want you to care about her like you used to, Abby. I care, I still care about her, but I expect more from her. Because if Maddie was any other kid in this country and didn't dance, she wouldn't have been in see a video, she wouldn't be in a movie. They would hire a kid that could act with perfect teeth. Let's go. I don't know if I like this new role of mother of the year that Melissa's taking on with Mackenzie. I feel like with Maddie gone, she is overkill. I'm trying to give technical critiques on her daughter that will help her win, that will make her better. Why has she gone off the deep end? When she doesn't win, it's gonna be on Melissa. Give a round of applause to Mackenzie, dancing to I Just Want to Sit on the Couch and Eat Chips. Abby was really hard on Mackenzie all week. Abby says, you don't have great technique. Yes, she does. Been a terrible, horrible, no good, bad day. I've been trying to keep all the monsters at bay. But I keep playing and saying and keep on pouting and whining because nothing good ever happens to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been tempted to terrible, horrible, no good. Yeah.
Let's sit here and listen to what our judges have to say, okay? Good job, sweetie. There's nothing I love more than a powerful, strong, dynamic performer, and you were definitely that today. Watch the energy through your ankles. You are working your feet, but sometimes the ankle is a little soft. I love the use of the prop. Good job. I thought Mackenzie was fabulous. I mean, it's hard to jump on the bed, do tricks, keep your legs straight, keep your feet pointed. I mean, it's a tough piece, so I was happy with it. When a judge has to tell an 11-year-old that their ankles are soft, that's like someone taking a knife and just like in my chest. That's nuts. Junior solos today in fourth place today. Mackenzie ended up fourth. She was less than perfect. Melissa, your kids' feet and legs suck, let's face it. 